you know what the five love languages are. Now what? Just to have a little recap, let's review and make sure that you still remember what all five of those languages are. Because all five of these most important ways that you can express love to your partner make up the language, not just their number one. If you're only using one of those five ways to express love to your partner, then you're missing out on four other ways that you can lovingly communicate and serve and respond to your partner. So let's do a little review. The first is acts of service. The second is quality time. The third is one of my favorite, physical touch. The fourth is words of affirmation. And the fifth is gifts. Now, all five of those are some of the ways that you can express love to your partner. And probably they have a number one of the way they like to receive love. But remember, you've got to use all five of those to create a language in ways that you can express love to the person that matters to you more than anybody else. So what do we do now that we've reviewed them and we know what they are? I have a challenge for you and your partner. Take turns planning on activities that hit their most favorite or second favorite love language and then go and do them together. If their experiences, you're not only showing them that you love them, but you're getting an opportunity to renew the bond that brings you together. And then they have a turn scheduling an activity that meets your love language and fills your tank. Remember, all we have is this moment.